Okay, year seven. It's been a long time since we've had one of these videos on Holly Portal, but here goes. This is a reminder of today's lesson on how to solve equations using the method that we talked about, which was doing the same to both sides. If this is the first time you've done algebra, then you'll be working on stage one equations, and this part of the video is for you. If you're on stage two equations, because you've done this before, you can fast forward ahead to the stage two section. On the paper here we have a stage one equation. We have x plus six equals to eight. If you remember, we said that x wanted to be alone. He wants to get rid of that plus six. Now we need to get rid of that plus six by doing the opposite. What is the opposite of adding six? It is subtracting 6, taking 6 away. So that's what we do. To get rid of the add 6, we subtract 6. Now if you remember, the method is called doing the same to both sides. So we need to remember to take away 6 from the other side too. If we do that, remember the whole point of taking away 6 in the first place was to get x on its own. And if we do the other side, that is 8 take away 6, what do we end up with? x is 2. If you notice, we can check 2 plus 6 equals 8. Lovely. Here, we've got another stage 1 type equation. x minus 4 equals 3. Now, x wants to be on his own. So we need to get rid of the minus 4. How do we get rid of minus 4? Well, we do the opposite. What's the opposite of minus 4? It is plus 4. If we add 4, we're going to end up with x on his own. But we need to remember that whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other side. So, we are left with x equals, and then on the other side we've got 3 plus 4 makes 7. Notice how my equals are nicely lined up underneath each other, and I've shown my working in red, so it doesn't get confused. One last stage 1 equation, 6x equals 18. In this equation, we need to remember that 6x means 6 times x, but we don't use the times symbol when we're using algebra. So x is multiplied by 6. He wants to be on his own, so we need to get rid of that multiplied by 6. And the opposite of multiplying by 6 is dividing by 6. Now if I divide one by side by 6, I must remember to divide the other side by 6. So what do I end up with? Well, on the one side, I've got x on his own. Remember, we divided by 6 so that he would be on his own. And on the other side, I need to do 18 divided by 6, which is 3. Here, we've got an example of a stage 2 equation. It's called a stage 2 because two things have happened to x. It has been multiplied by 2 and it's had 5 added to it. x wants to be on his own, so we need to get rid of the multiply by 2 and the plus 5. So we just need to decide which order to do that in. Now one way to remember it is we always get rid of the number that is furthest away from the x first. Or we can think of it as doing bid mass backwards. But let's think of it as doing the number furthest away first. Which number is furthest from the x? Is it the 2 or the 5? Well, the 5 is furthest away, so we're going to start by getting rid of the plus 5. To get rid of the plus 5, we're obviously going to take away 5. And if we take away 5 from one side, we must take away 5 from the other side. Notice that I'm doing my working in red to keep it separate, to keep it nice and tidy. Now, if I have 2x plus 5 and I take away 5, what have I got left? I've got my 2x left. 
And if I do 17 minus 5, what have I got left? I've got 12. Can you see now that by doing that one step, I've changed my stage 2 equation into a stage 1 equation? I just need to get rid of the 2 now. That 2 is multiplied by x, so I need to do the opposite, which is divide by 2. To get rid of the multiplied by 2, I divide by 2. And of course, I remember to do it both sides. 2x divided by 2 leaves x on his own. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And that's our answer. Now how can we check our answer is correct? Well, we can put it back into the equation. 2 lots of 6 is 12, plus another 5 is 15. Here's a final stage 2 equation. Again, we have got x, and he's had two things done to him. He's been divided by 3, and he's had 4 subtracted. We need to get x on his own, and so we remove the number that is furthest away first. In this case, the 4 is furthest away. The opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. And we must do that to both sides. So, if we've got x divided by 3, minus 4, plus 4, we end up with just x divided by 3. And on the other side, I've got 17 plus 4, which is 21. Now this is where people often make mistakes. We need to be really careful. What has happened to x? It's been divided by 3. What's the opposite of dividing by 3 to get him on his own? Well, it's multiplied by 3. Multiplied by 3. So if I multiply this side by 3, I will end up with x. If I multiply this side by 3, I will end up with 63.